one thing you can do to attract the most diversity of birds to your yard is putting out a feeder that can accommodate black oil sunflower seed. Just about every bird that's going to come to a feeder, and that's really only a small fraction of the birds that we do have here in Maine, are going to come and they're going to eat black oil sunflower seed. Um, those most common species that you can expect are black capped chickadee, which is the state bird of Maine, um, both white breasted and red breasted nuthatch, uh, tufted titmouse, there are numerous sparrow species that will come to feeders, several finch species that will come to feeders, and all those birds are going to love the sunflower seed. You can buy it as black oil sunflower, or you can buy it in a shelled form, which is called sunflower hearts or meaties. The meaties are good if you have a feeder out on the deck or something like that and you don't want to have the mess of the shell, but it's basically the same thing that you can, you can do to attract all those birds. Um, any kind of feeder that looks something like this is going to be great to accommodate black oil sunflower seed. You want to have some kind of a hard material, a decent quality feeder, otherwise the squirrels will chew right through it. If you can have something that has a metal or very hard plastic um, piece that surrounds this opening, that's also going to prevent the squirrels from coming in and destroying your feeder. Uh, another kind of seed and feeder that you can put out is thistle or niger seed. That is especially attractive for finch species like American goldfinch. The seed for niger is very small and if you use this big hole in this seed and this feeder that I showed earlier, the seed will just spill out and it's just kind of a waste. Other feeders that you can put out, you can put out things for orioles and for um, ruby-throated hummingbirds. They love the sugar water. You can just make the solution yourself. It is four parts water to one part sugar. Um, you want to boil that mixture and then fill it up in your feeder. Um, you do have to be mindful about changing that water every few days. That sugar water can actually ferment and then become harmful to the birds but you can make it in advance. Just boil the water, as I already mentioned, and then refrigerate it. Uh, for the Orioles, you can even put out things like orange slices. Uh, we actually have feeders that are specifically for that, or you can just put a nail through a piece of wood and put it on a tree. Um, and Orioles are actually one of the few birds that will eat jelly. You can put out small amounts of jelly for these birds, and they will come and take that as well. Another good kind of feeder that will especially attract woodpeckers is a suet feeder. Uh, it's basically a metal cage that you can put the suet in. Um, things like downy woodpecker, hairy woodpeckers, really love those. It's really important if you're gonna have feeders out to try and clean them. And even if you can do it just twice a year, that's a great goal to have. Uh, water, water is a great thing to put out there. If you have a bird bath, that is a great thing to add as another attractant for the birds. Uh, lots of times they like the sound of running water. You can buy little, little pumps that will circulate the water. If you do have a bird bath that is out there, you don't want it to be any deeper than about two inches in the middle to about a half inch uh, on the outside. Basically you want it to kind of simulate a puddle, which is what a bird is going to find out in nature for bathing and for drinking. If you really wanted to look into increasing your backyard habitat, there's a lot of species, especially native species, that you can plant well beyond the scope of anything I, I could talk about here, but there are some great resources out there. Um, Maine Cooperative Extension, Coastal Maine Botanical Garden, Cornell Lab of Ornithology, all have great resources on how you can landscape your yard for the birds and for increasing habitat.